never forget the morning of December 30th, 1995. I was at home and my collaborator, Paul Butler, called me up. He said just three words. Jeff, I'm here. I drove immediately to Berkeley. And there on the computer screen was a plot showing the wobble of the star 70 Virginis. And it was our first planet that we ever discovered. The real key is to find planets that have a rocky surface. Such a surface could harbor water in liquid form, puddled into ponds or lakes or oceans. And it's that liquid water that serves as the solvent for biochemistry to allow the chemistry of life to flourish. The discovery of planets around other stars is extraordinarily difficult. The problem in a nutshell is that planets are about a billion times fainter than the host star. NASA missions are going to answer the question of the existence of Earth-like planets. And those missions, by completely different techniques, are going to determine whether there are Earths out there and how often Earth-like planets occur. What fraction of the twinkling lights you see at night have Earths? We're going to know the answer in 10 years.